Magazine. His murals help keep Anacortes alive, both its past and present. Plus, the Seafair Pirate. That's Evening Magazine, coming up right after the news. It's Evening Magazine for Thursday, August 5th. Hi, and welcome to Evening Magazine. We are so happy to be in Anacortes tonight. A couple of things are going on. First, we have this special story on a local muralist who is also part historian. Come check this out. This is just one of more than 100 of these murals you'll see on buildings all around the downtown core. In fact, they are so significant, they're credited with helping to revitalize downtown Anacortes. We'll have more on this in just a minute. Now, you'll be able to check those murals this weekend and the Anacortes Arts Festival. More on that as well coming up. Come on we'll out here to Anacortes. It's the 49th Annual Arts Festival this weekend. And while you're here, you can't help but notice the great artwork like this on all of the buildings. A local artist, Bill Mitchell, is behind these creations. His passion for the area's history and trying to preserve it helped prompt him to start the paintings. 26 years ago, Bill painted his first mural, others followed, and then the old rundown buildings took on new tenants and Anacortes a new life. Bill is a character and wants to keep the character of this town alive. Still to come tonight, Bill gives us a tour of Anacortes and introduces us to some of the people who helped make this place special. Welcome back to Evening Magazine from Anacortes tonight. It's been a while since I've been here and it's so much fun. This marine supply store has been here since 1913, owned by the Demopolis family for all that time. Great stuff inside. It's fun to come check out as well as the 49th Annual Arts Festival, which is coming up this weekend. A lot of good stuff. Another thing to do to have fun, put on those Billy jeans and beat it. Did Welcome back to Evening Magazine from Anacortes tonight. You know, every small town has its own unique character and charm, and that is particularly true here in Anacortes, thanks to one of its sons, muralist Bill Mitchell. His work can be seen on buildings all around the city as he documents its history and its personality. Tonight, photographer Daryl Benedict takes us on a tour with Bill as he introduces us to some of his favorite characters. They called it the Magic City. It happened so quickly. They had business mills and brick buildings went up so fast, built virtually overnight. Anacortes was conceived by Amos Bowman. He saw this as being the New York of the West. He made plans to bring the railroad in. In 1890, it became a boom town. It went from 40 residents to 4,000 residents building this place in one year. All this like and of course is the Key West of the Northwest, in my opinion. Collects colorful characters as if it was the end of the road and you needed a ferry ticket to go any further. These are just a few of the colorful characters in Anacortes. They're all over the streets, not just the murals, but the people are <laughs> the people are out here. Yeah, this is the old people's bank right here. And this is Fred Cartwright, the manager. He always had a rosebud in his lapel. And this is able assistant manager uh, Ole Olson. Sid Wills and his big come along. He used to move humongous logs with that. Cussed. I never saw a guy that cussed it. Well, maybe Ray Lowe. This is the old Carnegie Library, now the Anacortes Museum. These are some of my friends. That's Bill Lowman there with the salmon. He was the guy that brought Bobo to Anacortes back in 1951. Yeah, there was my buddy Bobo. When I knew him, he was little like that. He grew up to be a pretty big gorilla down in uh, Seattle. Here's my buddy Robert's son. He was a poet, did a lot of stuff about the Ish River country. This color. I think there is an artistic gene, and I think I caught it in my family. Simple pencil lines, quite a character. Our friend Chuck, he had a head injury back when he was a teenager. He was in a bad car wreck. He learned how to walk, talk, write, everything all over again. He started at the bottom with the state ferry system as a deckhand, and he worked his way all the way up to captain. Back in 1984, the Anacortes downtown was dirty, dingy, and dead. We thought that this kind of stuff would kind of brighten up the downtown, and as it turned out, uh, all of this stuff ended up drawing attention to the old buildings, and they started getting painted and revitalized. 
Next thing you know, we got people all over the downtown. All right, we got all the stuff. Last thing we do with these murals is screw them up. Well, that's the first thing I always do. Within 10 years of starting a mural project, every storefront downtown was full for the first time since the Depression. Art is a lonely job, and this project has enabled me to work with other people, and I really enjoy that. You can see that you've done something, and it's something that's got some lasting value. It's not like the dishes. The dishes get done, and it's great, but the sink fills up again. And with this, you do it right, and you don't have to touch it for decades. And it feels good to do things that have lasting value. Just last week, the Anacortes Arts Festival named Bill the 2010 Anacortes Patron of the Arts, a very prestigious award, so congratulations to Bill. Now, he threatens to retire one of these days, but admits it's probably going to be tough because so many people still want his mural. We have had such a great time here tonight in Anacortes. We've climbed up on Cap Santee Lookout. Take a look at this. What a gorgeous shot of the city of Anacortes. Absolutely delightful. We have had a wonderful time. Thanks to everyone for coming out and saying hello to us. We certainly appreciate it. If you would like to check out the Arts Festival this weekend, it starts every day at 10 o'clock, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You are guaranteed to have a fabulous time. Also, a quick hint, when it's cloudy in Seattle, chances are it's a lot nicer, sunnier, and warmer here in Anacortes. So come on out this weekend and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching tonight, and thanks for allowing me to be a part of it. Good night.